time, she now qualifies for a $1,400 check. With the first two rounds of checks, it didn't matter if you were struggling to pay your own way through college as long as you were claimed as a dependent and were aged 17 to 21, no stimulus for you. Couple of catches. One, the money goes to mom and dad, not you. And two, if they earn more than $160,000 a year combined, you still won't qualify. Everybody, Joe Biden is taking action for the people. He's urging that companies lower their prices for everyday necessities. He also said that for gas and groceries, things need to be cheaper. So, President Biden also is trying to pursue higher taxes on oil companies and their profits. As if the industry, industry giants do not work to cut gas prices. Joe Biden has criticized oil companies that have made record high profits. It comes as consumers struggle to keep up with high gas prices. According to AAA, today the price of a gallon of gas was $3.76, down from a record of over $5 in June, but still higher than a year ago. And when asked about, gas, and when asked about the gas companies, Biden said it's time for these companies to stop their profiteering. If they don't, they're going to pay a higher tax on their excess profits. And right before Election Day, everybody, White House, the White House message that it's focused on how Democrats are going to improve the economy and Republicans will make it worse. Inflation and the economy consistently rank at a top issue for voters and higher gas prices stretch consumer budgets for much of the year. Any new tax on oil profits would need congressional approval, which may prove difficult as Democrats control both chambers of Congress by slim margins. Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren also previously floated the idea the Republicans, who generally support lower taxes, hope to win back one or both chambers in Congress as of the November 8th midterms. Shell also made $9.5 billion in profits in the third quarter, almost double what it made the same period last year. Exxon profits in the third quarter made $18 billion, and that nearly tripled what Exxon made last year, and the most in its year history. And now Biden has made pleas to the oil companies to increase production rather than to enrich shareholders in recent weeks as the price of gas remains high. Now, early this month, though, President Biden announced that the release of 15 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve will inflict inflation. Biden promised in his speech earlier today to, pur to purchase oil to refill the reserve. To purchase oil to refill the reserve once the price hits 70 bucks a barrel. He said companies should therefore invest now in increased production with the confidence that the government will pursue and purchase the oil later. AAA reports today that gas prices in the state of Florida fell very fall, fell last week and are set to rise this week when the state gas tax tax holiday increases again. The tax holiday has allowed drivers in Florida to fill up their tanks without paying the state's 25 cents gallon of tax. The holiday part of a broad tax package approved this year by lawmakers and DeSantis started October. Now, when the state sales tax holiday was implemented at the beginning of the month, gas prices declined in total of 22 cents within a couple of days. But the savings for drivers didn't last long. In a recent news release, AAA reported that during the first week of October, OPEC announced plans to cut its oil production rate, which sparked a 17% oil price hike, raising the cost of producing gas and ultimately dragged Floridians' gas prices back to where they were. Chicago motorists also speaking out after the OPEC announced its slashing oil production by 2 million barrels a day. It came after November. Under the new City Chicago Moves program, the city issued $150 gas cards and prepaid debit cards of 50 bucks to help people who are traveling. So hopefully, President Biden can send out more national stimulus payments, everybody. ...to save the planet. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Thank you very much, Madam Chair. And now I want to yield to the distinguished chair of the Energy and Commerce Committee, a committee that has tremendous jurisdiction over... Well, if you ask them, they have jurisdiction over everything. But in terms Which includes a child tax credit program, among other numerous spending initiatives. Designed with the federal ch child tax credit in mind, the Pennsylvania Child and Department Care Enhancement enables families to receive tax breaks for child care expenses at a value of 30% of the federal credit. Though it is expected to mirror federal child tax credit income eligibility, the city is using $24.6 million to fund the program. It is now a permanent part of the Pennsylvania tax code. The Pennsylvania residents who care for one dependent can claim a maximum of $3,000 million of $3, and for those with two or more dependents, the maximum is $6,000. Anyone who received a property tax or rent rebate during the, 2021, during the 2021 tax season is automatically eligible for the additional rebate. 
Pennsylvanians can still apply for the 2021 rebate program and obtain that 70% bonus rebate until the end of the year. Folks, what do you think about President Biden? Is he doing all that it takes to send the Ford stimulus check, or do you think he's holding it back? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Ton of good news about the Ford stimulus check, Social Security benefits, and SSDI. Here's the latest news, everybody. Keep on watching this because you don't want to miss out. Republicans are working with Democrats to put together an official stimulus program. Millions of low- and middle-income households will be receiving automatic recurring stimulus checks. These checks provide relief as inflation continues to rise. There is a new stimulus proposal on the negotiating table. This new Senate proposal, introduced by Mitt Romney, called the Family Security Act 2.0, could bring discussions back to life. The new proposal comes with a work requirement, leaving many families out who may need the money the most. For each child under the age of six, eligible parents can receive up to 350 bucks per month, totaling around $4,200 annually per dependent. The number of children eligible will be capped at $6, for a max total of $2,100 per month. For each kid between the age of six and 17, eligible parents will receive up to $250 per month. The new child tax credit proposal includes a work requirement. Families must have earned $10,000 or more in the past year to receive the full benefit. The $10,000 earnings threshold will be annually indexed to inflation. And with the 2021 child tax credit, parents were able to receive the full amount of $3,600 if the child was born by the end of December. The new Senate Republicans proposal includes expecting parents. Those who are four months away from their due date will receive up to $700 a month, totaling $2,800 during pregnancy. Security Act 2.0 will be paid for by consolidating existing federal spending. According to Romney's proposal, that includes reforming the earned income tax credit eliminating state and local deductions, and eliminating the head of household filing status, and eliminating the child portion of the child independent care credit. So there is some big news from the IRS. The IRS says that the average tax refund for returns fall in 2022. And you're recognized for your questions. Uh, thank you, Chairman Peters. Appreciate you uh, uh, waiting for me. Um, and thank you for your uh, willingness to serve. Uh, let's talk a little bit about transportation cybersecurity. Uh, TSA, you know, you have an enormous and complex responsibility of securing the nation's transportation system from both physical and, of course, cyber threats. And so with cyber attacks on American transportation infrastructure, while well, they're escalating in both frequency and severity, uh, earlier this year, Senator Wicker and I wrote to both DHS Secretary Mayorkas and Transportation Secretary Buttigieg requesting information about their respective agencies' security-related processes to detect, to prevent, and to respond to these cyber threats. And so, as you know, TSA recently announced new security directives and guidance for measures to strengthen cybersecurity across the transportation sector. Additionally, you mentioned when we met in my office last, last month that TSA is going to start to more robustly uh, regulate cybersecurity, especially at, especially at airports for airlines and also for the 